Hey, this is Bram with 45 Creations, and today I'm going to show you how we made this poster for Nick Nolan. All right, so I know Nick from high school, actually. We grew up together. We both went to a school named Barron Collier High School. Both played sports and music. Um, so it's really cool. I like doing posters or artwork for my friends and family that I know are pursuing the same you know, dreams as I am, whether it's music, art. I've helped people do book covers. I actually believe this might be his first show as a DJ. Uh, I might be wrong, but or one of the first shows. So um, it's really exciting to see how I can kind of take what he's given me and make a poster out of it because a lot of times I do stuff with bands and those posters a little more classic looking, a little more straightforward, but the EDM uh, DJ world is a lot more futuristic, very vibrant, poppy, a lot of really bright colors. So obviously I have to start with the background first. I wanted to try a lighter background, so I chose this yellow here. I like to have a little pattern in the background, gives a little bit more depth to it, makes it look like it's a big event. So then the next thing I put in the poster was these kind of bubbly looking things. I found a couple different things off of some vector licenses that I have. I really like the colors, how they kind of look like a storm cloud and it makes it look a little more digital, a little more futuristic with having, you know, the soft edges and then you've got these super hard lines. Without Nick's frame here, it looks a little strange, but once you put him over it and the way how it lined up with, you know, the center line going through, most of the lines being covered, you don't really see it, but this kind of adds a little bit of extra fun, extra depth. You know, you've got your main background, you've got the little square background pattern in front of it. So that's two layers. Then you've got this kind of circle puffy cloud thing that's three layers and then we throw on the picture of nick and that's the fourth layer so really adds a lot more depth to it so with nick's picture here he gave me a reference photo i did go into photoshop and i went around to all the edges and trim things up a little bit i didn't do it absolutely perfect because what i did in the background was this outer glow you can kind of see it coming into these colors here so over Nick's picture, I do have this outline of his silhouette. If you just have the actual colors of the raw photo, it's gonna clash and kind of look like it doesn't really fit into the theme of all the colors. So we have this kind of rainbow gradient that's the same color as the background. And I did the lighten setting on the appearance at 50%. If you do it at 100%, it'll look too tacky. So you want it to be subtle, you don't want it to be overbearing so that the picture doesn't look like a person anymore. So you've got this top layer as well as on the actual picture itself, we did an outer glow. So to do an outer glow, you go up to your effect panel, you go down to stylize, outer glow, you click that. I already have it, so I don't wanna do a new effect, but I'll pull this up here. So I picked the same yellow as the background. I did the mode hard light just because it blended into those bubbles pretty well. The blur is at 20, so it's spread out a little bit more. That way it kind of uh, gives a good gradual pushback. If I do it at, let's say, 10, you won't see it much. It's not really there, so 20 and 10. Put it at 20, I think that was a good spot for that. Okay, so we've got the main silhouette of Nick with the colors over it, and then we also put this outer layer. So. Actually, the first time I sent it to Nick, I sent it without this outer layer behind it. And he was like, yeah, the picture's starting to kind of blend into the whole back, so it's kind of hard to see, and I agreed with him. So with the back silhouette, it was just the same outer drawing of Nick on the front side, but put to the back. And then I have this purple that's in the main color scheme, and I put up this stroke a lot, almost to be an obnoxious amount. That way there's like a backing, kind of almost like a, a die cut or kiss cut sticker. And that gives that glowing aura feel to the photo and kind of blends into all the other stuff. And then for his name, I chose this tall kind of skinny font with once again, that same big thick background that we did behind his picture. So up in the front, I've got the yellow version of this font. And then right behind is the same thing with the purple, but with a stroke of like 30. So then it looks like it's a three dimensional name and 
uh, back to kind of color theory. So you want to take colors that complement each other to make things really stand out. So yellow and purple are on the opposite spectrums of the circle. So if you put yellow on the front, purple on the back, it's going to look really, really vibrant. Opposed to, let's say, if you did like a red and a orange, they're just going to kind of clash and look almost the same. So since these two colors are contrasted so far, when you put them together, it's going to make it look like it's almost like a, a darker color that associates with it. And then the bottom layer is all the information for the show. So I did it kind of at a little angle. I actually did the same angle as I did his name. So the way I did that is I kind of pulled it up here and looked to see how close I can make it to the same line. If you want to line up two different types of text at a weird angle and you don't really know what the exact number angle is, if you click R on your keyboard and then you click in the top left, in this case, the top left of the whole text line. And then I can actually drag this to become perfectly straight with that top line. And then I'm gonna go back to a regular selection and then just push it down a little bit more with the shift and arrow keys. And then give it a little space at the bottom and then it is done. So very simple poster, but fun, uh, right to the point, you know, especially with DJs, they're gonna be doing a lot of shows. So. A lot of times, if these can be templated, they can use them multiple different times. They know what type of feel they want to go for. They can use pictures and just kind of swap them out. That's what a lot of that EDM DJ world looks like. So it's a lot of fun because I don't do it very often. Um, but when I do get the chance, I want to make it really, really cool. So thanks again for watching. Uh, if you want to follow us on our socials, we have TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, anything you can really think of, Snapchat, I guess, too. <laughs> uh, follow us on everything. You know, we'd be happy to talk to you if you have any questions. Um, we'd love to look at your guys' work if you have any that you wanted to submit. So thanks for watching.